All praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Kadash. That's the name of the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Paleo-Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders who the Most High worked through the Spirit to teach us this truth, okay, and who rule well. Double honors to those men, all right, and salutations to the hopeful elect Akiam. I want to get into this uh, website that was put on by some biblical scholars, most likely Edomites, that uh, show you the breakdown of the mark of the beast is not just um, pretty much exclusive to Great Millstone, all right, and how you have a lot of other Edomite scholars, biblical uh, experts, if you will, and people who study these scriptures as well as the current events and how things are going according to the biblical prophetic timeline. They're in the know of what this the MOTB is, okay, because it's it's obvious, all right, and. You have these people, anybody who's in pretty much the top level of knowledge on the planet is in was, is in these scriptures, man, okay? Because this truth is the top level of knowledge on the planet, all right? This is when motherfuckers, they spend their whole lives uh, pretty much seeking knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They arrive to this. All right, because they, they get into all the shit of the world and then they graduate. When you graduate and get to the top level, top form of knowledge, this is where it's at. man. All right. And I, I say this because I've I've actually heard this verbatim out of uh, out of the mouth of of one of the sources. OK, a lot of these fucking Edomites that go over to. Uh, on these um, archaeological excursions around the world, um, are are finding out and corroborating the validity of the scriptures, all the events as they said they came to pass, and the the wealth in studying these things is the is the fact that what's gonna uh, what was written in these scriptures is gonna go down which is hence the meaning of prophecy, okay? And those events that took place, for example, the flood, okay, the destruction of Egypt, all right? The, the, actually the rise and fall of all the world empires, all these things are found and were prophesied and written down by men the Most High appointed, but through um, the Most High, okay? them just being a mouthpiece for him but the most high um had these things written and spoken of before they were taken place which is um potent the the power in that is is potent in of itself is exclusive to any other writing on this planet man okay so all these uh scholars and shit after they um exhausted their um themselves with the the foolishness and folly of this world, you know, they have come and arrived to, th to this, all right, and this is what is uh, pretty much associated with your future, with the future of mankind, all right, so, and of course, we spit out the bones, because th the 100% truth is only with one group, all right, we know, we, we see in the scriptures how it talks about how there's an Israel of the Most High, all right? And there would be an elect, an exclusive group that was going to get it right, man. <laughs> and that the Most High would, would deem to save. Speaking about how they have the eye salve, all right? They have the unction from the Holy One, okay? Full spectrum truth. We know everything that um, that is needed for this time. Okay. 
So this is uh, from writingthebeast.com. Microchip implants and triple six uh, epi caragma at chi size stigma. Okay. Um, and this is juicy. We're not going to get into everything, but I but I did want to uh, break down the Greek interpretation for that number triple six. Okay, because the the true breakdown and interpretation of what this mark the MOTB is and what it can be is uh revelatory in the breakdown of that of that number okay it's it's obvious and evident through that interpretation okay But for the viewer, I would suggest they scope this out in its entirety. But we're going to get back. We're going to go down here. Hmm. A syringe will also leave a puncture mark on the surface of the skin, which may even scar depending on the size and shape of the puncture. Payment watches and rings would also be considered on the hand or wrist. Phones are now, which are now capable of secure payments via NFC technology, could be considered in the hand. Any of these technologies could fulfill the requirement. Uh, Slakia, Slakia, bones, right? Okay, here it is. Um, the requirement of the mark of the MOTB to buy and sell, but only an injected microchip will prevent loss or theft. Okay. Okay, we know about Karagma. I'll briefly go over this, right? Um, a, a scratch or etching, a badge of servitude, graven, a mark. Okay, and then it breaks down further to Karax, uh, which means to sharpen to a point. It also describes a stake, okay? And then it says, um, definitions of kragma is graven, and the uh, de definition of graven as follows, is to sculpt, carve, or engrave, to stamp or impress deeply, to fix permanently. So that eliminates um, anything external, a, an external device, because this thing is going to be inside of you, Okay. To, to fix permanently, to impress deeply, okay? Let's see. The earliest use of the word karagma outside of the Bible describes the piercing bite of a snake. There's a disturbing connection between the piercing serpent, Satan, and Isaiah 27 and 1, the bite of the serpent, karagma, and syringe injectable microchips. This verse brings to mind the serpent in Revelation 20 and 2, which gives power to the beast. Revelation 13 and 4. It says, um, Kragma is an engraved, etched, branded, or inscribed mark or sign closest to the original sense. Is the earliest example in Sophil 267, where Kragma denotes the bite of a snake. Hmm. Let's see what that is. This is the Greek word karagma. Wow. Theological dictionary of the New Testament and the definition for karagma. Wow. Denotes the bite of a snake. All right. This fucking serpent, man. Esau eat him and his power structure. And one of the another one of the bones that's to be tossed in in um, a lot of their breakdowns, these different scholars' breakdowns, is the fact of the plural uh, uh, slakia of a singular antichrist. Okay, the scriptures tell us that there would be many antichrists, and when you look at the top antichrist, the epitome of of uh, being a contrarian to, to a Mashiach is Esau Edom, the man of perdition. If anybody's the Antichrist singular, it's the fucking 
the so-called white man in his entire line, okay? And let's get into this Kai Sai. Kai Sai stigma, 603 score is six. And this is the spirit because of, uh, Elder Barack went into this a couple weeks ago at camp. And if I'm not mistaken, I had this same article pulled up. It was either the same week or the week before when we were going heavy into the Karagma. I had this pulled in the chamber ready to go. And I was actually reading from it at camp. We were going into, um, you know, this first section of this of this article, a of this um, of this piece that was done. And um, we just didn't get down to here. All right. But as the the elders mentioned, this right now, right here, cuts and puts to bed any um, pretty much misconception about what this device, what this what this thing is. OK. The MO, what what the MOTB is. It says in Revelation 13 and 18, here's wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six early biblical translators chose to spell the number 666 603 score and six this is one of the rare exceptions in the english bible where a number is spelled out instead of using a numeric representation this treatment of 666 bring focus to the individual characters which follow us to gain a further understanding of the motb if we look at the Greek, we see that triple six is presented with three letters, chi, psi, stigma. The, numer the numeric values of these three Greek letters add up to uh, 666. It should be noted that stigma is based on the ancient Greek di digamma and must not be confused with the modern Greek sigma. It carried the meaning of a mark, dot, puncture, a generally a sign or generally a sign from the verb to puncture, as well as a mark from a pointed instrument, often a sign of ownership, mark, brand, or tattoo. Okay. So this thing was actually, uh, it was, it was inserted. It was, it was punctured okay and it and it denotes a sign of ownership because ultimately we know that this is the so-called white man's form of sunning if you will of of godding see this um for lack of a better term presenting himself as god on the fucking planet man all right and and, and marking branding all of his subjects um, all these, the people of the world as his subjects, man, as his possessions, as his slaves. And when you go into it, um, a lot of the neurological aspects of the, of the, these chips, because it said in your mark, uh, uh, in your forehead and in your hand, well, the forehead aspect is they have a lot of these, um, different chips that can pretty much control your neurological function sir. okay to 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 create you to to make moves to control your fucking body man so as this 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 motherfucker is attempting to exalt himself as the most high okay to to uh to be god to all the people to control them down to their their fucking very anatomy man Okay. It says Strong's Concordance gives stigma the following definition to stick a mark incised or punched for recognition or ownership. Mark. The definition of stigma and kragma are remarkably similar. They both support the idea of a pointed instrument used to inject a microchip. Okay, stigma also made it to English language where it's defined as a mark of infamy or disgrace. That's, there, uh, huh, there's an obvious car carryover from its use of revelation. Okay. Let 
They're saying Philippians 1 and 28, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of the Most High. For unto you is given in the behalf of Mashiach, not only to believe, but also to suffer for his same sake, to suffer for his sake. And let's get that though. What what is the um what is the real precept for this for this mark um of infamy and disgrace? Okay. Let's see. This is in Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Okay. So they're going to get a sore in the place where they, they took that injection, man. All right, where that device was injected at. See, that's that's more uh, accurate a precept to link up with the, that mark of in, of infamy or disgrace. Okay, motherfuckers are gonna know that you took that shit. All right, does it not say also that the, the ones that are gonna take that are gonna uh, are gonna taste destruction from the heavenly father okay another intriguing definition of stigma in english <laughs> in its english language is token anyone familiar with digital security will recognize a token as a physical device that's used to gain various levels of access that's exactly what a microchip implant is it is um uh, essentially a security token and that's heavy i had to fuck with these in my line of work to get into a, these different portals what they call them to get into a certain portal so that you can access like a, a super security encrypted uh network okay for like um different inventory databases okay or different um shit with with sensitive information all right you have to access it through a fucking security token that has um pretty much a a serial number that's that's fucking um that it randomly generates you know every 60 seconds and shit like that so that's linked in with this whole uh technology the nanotech the biometric uh uh and and um uh trans trans fucking uh human features that it has on this shit huh okay to pretty much link you up with the with the machine man and machine okay and then when you go into the grapho and let me see if i can get this is it in 16 for mark Okay, into the root word, right? How do you get to grapho? Okay, you got carox, and then let's see, go again, carasso, grapho, there it goes. Grapho is to write with reference to the form of the letters to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material. Okay. So it's information. That's that, that's what you can uh, deduce from that. To express in written characters, to commit in write to writings things not to be forgotten. Write down record. So it's going to have records, man. Okay, biometric records. Fucking extensive information and data on the subject. Fucking pretty much any and everything. All right. Including all your financials. The uh definitely that's one of the main purposes of this thing. So they can control that shit, which is your ultimately your welfare, your survival. 
Okay. There's no question what this thing is. And niggas are getting that shit. Hmm. Ooh. In three-factor authentication, it, this is known as what you have. The other two factors are what you know, as in a password, pin, etc., and what you are, as in biometrics, primarily face, iris, which is your eyes, fingerprint, or vein scanning. So it's pretty, that information, that grapho, the records, it's going to be tied to what it says, um, what you have, meaning your possessions, your, your finances, what you know, your password pin, which is going to be encrypted, which is really just the chip, right, itself. And then what you, what you are, which is all your fucking information. Okay, like microchips used for identification, a security token almost always carries a unique number on it. One must wonder if this somehow relates to the three-factor allegiance to the beast in 1317. Okay, spit out the bones as necessary. Okay, and there you have it, man. Just a little bit um, right here. Just a little bit more. Wait a minute. What does this say? Uh, Slovakia. Slovakia. Let me see what this is. Okay, come straight. It says, what's in the name? There's another notable cor uh, correlation between the microchips and Kai Sai Stigma. One of the earliest public faces of implantable payments was Digital Angel. And what kind of angel? Fucking left side. See? It's really so, man. Principalities. All right? And when you look at technology, it's it's satanic. It's, got, it's run by spir uh, spirits and principalities that shit to even operate okay they call they used to call it back in the day magic man all right due to the alarming character of the technology it was quickly discovered that the digital angel logo contained a hidden but obvious triple six see the image below and also note the light that is centered on the forehead okay Digital Angel isn't the only product with the name or logo that links to Triple Six. The connection between it and acquired products seems to have become a trend. If nothing else, they add to the mounting evidence which reveals the nature of the MOTB and Triple Six. It's hard to write these off as mere coincidence. One such company is EXI Wireless. Remember that Psy is the 60 in triple six. Another is Xmark, whose products include watch made in hugs. The similarities are obvious. Also worth mentioning is Somark Innovations, a company that manufactures in individual, uh, Slakia, indivisible, invisible RFID ink used to tattoo cattle for tracking. Okay. says the shape of Zai, Sai is written in Greek it shares a close likeness to a curled up snake ready to strike stigma also resembles a serpent that is coiled and ready to strike this is another hint to Karagma as the bite of a serpent and as noted by one of our readers the antenna located in a microchip is a coil of wire on exactly when you see those those little grain of rice um, model chips it's got that little coil that coil shit in there you know you see that in other depictions all right and that could be through the spirit 
a true correlation or that could just be a coincidence. But does the most high work with coincidences? When you look at these this coil and the the uh the likeness to a to a snake, and when you look at the whole concept of uh something being injected, they they got that that whole idea of a shot vaccine and how it's administered, they got that from a snake. A lot of what Esau gets in 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 um in life, like a lot of the inventions and different devices that Esau has created are based off of um things that are in nature, okay, different animals, all right, different um plant life and shit like that well, for example the the d- uh, duck he took the the whole concept of the boat from the from a duck, how it just sits on top of the water, okay. Uh, obviously the um birds and and planes and and uh innumerable um things that he's created based off of uh what's naturally occurring man okay and we've come to find out that the most high doesn't work with coincidences that everything is linked up like that and he, that he's in everything okay and in and knowing that they got that's the whole concept of that is from the serpent how it fucking locks its fucking um that fang that the whole syringe is likened it to the fang okay and this man is that old serpent fucking satan all right so it's time to put to bed all these misconceptions and fucking lies and deception really from these other camps and these peanut gallery Christians, you know what I'm saying? That don't know the true breakdowns of the scriptures, okay? Leave it to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. And we thank Yahweh Bashim Shai for setting this up, okay? This is of the most high, all right? And we're we're just so privileged to be um, to be a part of it, okay? Most high willing, we stay a part of it, man. All right, so with that, death and destruction to the society, the water Yahweh Shimei Hashai for ushering in your means to to take this thing out and us and usher in your kingdom. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimei Hashai, Bahashim Raka Kadash. Much love, and blessings to the to the Akiyam. Lord willing, it was it was edifying. Shalom.